accurate pH control is fundamental for a wide variety of industrial bioprocesses, such as those involved into the production of beverages like beer, chemicals like biofuel, and medicinal products like vaccines or monoclonal antibodies. Such processes are based on cell or microbial cultures where the pH has to be kept within a narrow range to maintain optimal cell growth and final product yield. The most accurate process sensors to measure the pH value are the glass electrodes. To make sure that they keep delivering their optimal performances, appropriate handling and maintenance is necessary. The most common source of pH measurement errors are aging of the sensor, inaccurate calibration, and process material coating the diaphragm and glass membrane. This video will present the three most helpful tips on how to deal with these issues and improve the overall accuracy of the measurement. Over time, every glass pH electrode undergoes an aging process where the sensor slowly loses its ability to respond to changing pH. The theoretical response of a pH glass electrode is described by the Nernst equation. This equation represents the response of the sensor as the change of the voltage potential per pH unit. For example, at 25 degrees Celsius, the slope is approximately minus 59 millivolts per pH. The potential measured at pH 7 should be zero millivolts, the so-called zero point. As the sensor ages, the slope decreases and the zero point changes, causing measurement error. As this occurs, the sensor response time to changes in pH gets slower. Aging is accelerated by certain factors, such as continuous measurement at elevated temperature, exposure to strong acid or alkaline solutions, poor maintenance of the pH electrode outside of the process, for example, during cleaning or storage. Besides poor handling and storage practices, other sources of error can be compensated within certain limits by ongoing maintenance actions, such as proper cleaning and recalibration. Despite this, aging of the pH sensor is inevitable. Therefore, it is recommended to periodically perform sensor calibration and verification of the sensor status through predefined validation criteria. The results of these actions will define if additional maintenance or even sensor replacement is necessary. For many users, electrode measurement accuracy is acceptable when the criteria presented in the table are fulfilled. The slope is between 90 and 100%. The zero-point offset is smaller than 0.5 pH units. The response time does not exceed about 60 seconds. The Hamilton quality indicator is more than 45%. In practice, all pH sensors have some variability and do not exactly follow the Nernst equation. A periodic new calibration is necessary to compensate the difference between theoretical and actual behavior. It is important to remember that no pH electrode assembly can measure more accurately than its calibration accuracy. For example, misidentified or expired liquid calibration buffers are common sources of error. A calibration of a traditional glass pH electrode is performed with two certified liquid buffers with at least three pH units difference. This is called a two-point calibration. After a proper two-point calibration, the slope and the zero-point values are calculated and verified against the criteria already described. Hamilton certified buffers are available for pH values ranging from 1 to 12 in order to accommodate a wide variety of applications. The calibration buffer should roughly approximate the actual range of the process to be measured. Keep in mind that there should be at least three pH units of difference to determine an accurate slope value. 
For example, if the process is around pH 7, then standard buffers at pH 4 and pH 9 might be used for the calibration. All buffers have shelf life restrictions and will degrade over time. Always dispose of old buffer by emptying the calibration chamber and filling it up with new buffer prior to immersing the sensor into the liquid. Also, if the procedure is performed at the wrong temperature, errors may affect the final measurement. Considering, for example, a bioprocess. If a fermentation is run at 37 degrees Celsius, but the pH electrodes have been calibrated at ambient temperature, it is possible to have an accuracy error up to 0.1 pH unit. If the sensor is used in liquids containing high proteins, fats, oils, or other coating substances, then the porous diaphragm may become clogged and the glass membrane covered over. This results in a slow response time and incorrect readings. A visual inspection is often sufficient enough to determine if there is any physical coating or discoloration. Coating issues are easily solved if the diaphragm and glass membrane are regularly inspected and properly cleaned. Hamilton offers specific liquid cleaning solutions that are developed for pH-sensitive glass membrane. The sensor should be inspected and cleaned on a set schedule in regards to a correct operating procedure. The cleaning frequency may vary depending on the specific application. Initial cleaning should involve just rinsing or soaking the sensor. Avoid cleaning the glass with any type of abrasive tool. Avoid rubbing or wiping the sensor with a dry cloth, as this could create static electricity. Let's review. To ensure that your pH glass electrodes deliver accurate measurements, appropriate handling and maintenance is necessary. The three most helpful tips to achieve this are Calibrate and verify the sensor aging on a regular schedule. Calibrate using practices like avoiding expired buffers and considering the effects of temperature during calibration. Regularly clean the diaphragm and the glass membrane based on process conditions. If you need any further information, visit hamiltoncompany.com slash PA.